Hello students Today we will talk about Mesolithic and Neolithic art circa 8000 to circa 2000 BC In this lesson our objectives are acquaint the students about the fundamentals of Mesolithic and Neolithic art in the larger context of art history, understand in detail about the different periods in those times and circumstances that led to the production of art. Appreciate the art and architecture of the said period. The components of this chapter are Mesolithic art, Mesolithic tools, Neolithic age, Neolithic stone architecture, Neolithic art, Bronze age, and finally, Indus Valley civilization. The Mesolithic era in Western Europe was a period of transition more noteworthy for its cultural and environmental changes than for its art. It began after the Ice Age ended and more temperate and more temperate climate evolved in about 11,000 BC as glaciers retreated forest expanded and Paleolithic animals were either hunted out or died natural deaths. The Paleolithic was an age of purely hunting and gathering while in the Neolithic domestication of plants and animals had occurred. People now gathered and lived around water and made fishing their chief occupation by the end of Mesolithic period many nomad hunter gatherers societies were becoming settled agricultural communities some Mesolithic peoples continued with intense hunting others were practicing the initial stages of domestication some Mesolithic settlements were villages of huts, also called the Middle Stone Age. It existed between the Paleolithic period, Old Stone Age, with its chipped stone tools, and the Neolithic period, New Stone Age, with its polished stone tools. Mesolithic material culture is characterized by greater innovation and diversity than is found in the Paleolithic. Among the new forms of chipped stone tools were macroliths, very small stone tools intended for mounting together on a shaft to produce a serrated edge. Polished stone was another innovation that occurred in some Mesolithic assemblies. Its time period varied greatly. In Northwestern Europe, the Mesolithic began about 8000 BC after the end of the Pliotocene epoch. That is about 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago and lasted until about 2700 BC. Mesolithic art was very minimalistic, very utilitarian in nature. The purpose was to make objects that were user friendly, not pleasing to the eyes. The pottery was very utilitarian a design. The portable art of Upper Paleolithic was no longer required 
in Mesolithic age. Maybe because people settled down and no longer traveled longer distances. Since the bow and arrow was invented, it is presumed that most of the carving time was spent on napping flints. Obsidian and other materials which lent themselves to sharp pointy tips for the bow and arrow and other stone tools. Rock painting was very similar to the Paleolithic cave painting. These moved out of doors to vertical cliffs or walls of natural rock, often semi-protected by outcropping or overhangs. It is believed that the location of these paintings may have held sacred, magical or religious significance. However, the subject matter had changed from animals, the Mesolithic people painted people and about the people. The painted humans typically seem to be engaged in either hunting or rituals whose purpose have been lost to time. These figures are not realistic, but highly stylized they look like stick figures and pictographs. Now we discuss Mesolithic tools. Stone tools were made from microliths, tiny chips of stone made from blades or bladelets and set into tooth slots in ball and antler shafts. Tools made of composite material, bone, antler, Wood combined with stone were used to create a variety of spearheads, arrowheads, knives, sickles, harpoons, daggers, and fish hooks. The main tool types are backed blades, obliquely tunicated blades, points, crescents, triangles, and trapezes. Nets and sinus were developed for fishing and trapping small game. Boats and canoes were constructed and first wooden tracks to cross wetlands were built. Now I am giving you a list of important Mesolithic sites. Please research on them for yourself in order to understand in greater detail about the age. Let us turn to Neolithic age. The beginning of the Neolithic culture is considered to be in the Levant, Jericho, modern day West Bank, about 10,200 to 8,800 BC. Considered the last part of the Stone Age, the Neolithic age begins with farming and ended when metal tools became widespread 
the bronze age the neolithic age is characteristic of progression of behavioral and cultural changes including the use of wild and domestic crops and of domesticated animals the river valleys now became the focus of all civilizations with their fertile soils and adequate water farming became the new mantra and people settled along with their animals early neolithic farming was limited to a narrow range of plants both wild and domesticated which included acorn wheat millet and spelt and the keeping of dogs sheep and goats by about 6900 to 6400 bc it also included domesticated cattle and pigs and use of pottery during most of the neolithic age people lived in small tribes composed of multiple bands or lineages let us look at neolithic stone architecture in western europe a new art form developed due to the shift to settled agriculture monumental stone architecture among the neolithic megaliths of ireland britain france spain and italy three distinctive types regularly occur the manhir dolmen and cromolech manhir from two celtic words man meaning stone and manhir meaning long are unhewn slightly shaped single stones monoliths either erected together or individually manhi manhirs have been interpreted as representing folic fertilizers of mother earth dolmens from the celtic word dol meaning table are chambers or enclosures consisting of two or more vertical stones supporting a large single stone the earliest dolmens were tombs later additions turned them into passageways some interior dolmen walls were decorated with carvings others were painted Cromlex from the celtic word of a circular place are megalithic structures in which groups of manhirs form circles or semicircles the most famous neolithic cromlex in western europe is stonehenge which was built in several stages from roughly 2800 to 1500 bc rising dramatically from selsbury plain in south eastern england the cromlech at stonehenge a series of concentric circles and horseshoe or u shaped curves before i move to stonehenge let me share a visual with you about post and lintel construction
stone hinge is one of the most complex constructions with eight different phases of construction and activities starting in 3000 BCE and stretching over a millennium and half through the Bronze Age. The site started as a symmetry of cremation burials marked by a circle of blue stones. These blue stones were rearranged into an arc between 2900 and 2600 BC. The center of site was now dominated by horseshoe shaped arrangement of sandstone trilithons or pairs of upright stones topped by lentils. The one at the middle stone considered taller than the rest, rising to a height of 24 feet and its lintel was more than 15 feet long and a 3 feet thick. This group was surrounded by the so-called Sarsen circle, a ring of sandstone uprights weighing up to 26 tons each and averaging 13 feet 6 inches tall. The circle 106 feet in the diameter was caved by a continuous splinter. The uprights were tapered slightly toward the top and gently curved lintel sections were secured by mortise and tannin joints. That is joints made by a conical projection at the top of each upright that fits like a peg into a hole in the linden. Over the next thousand years, people continued to alter the arrangement of the blue stones and continued to make cremation burials in pits at the site. Let us now talk about Neolithic art. Along with remarkable improvements in architecture, weaving, stylized pictographs, precursors to handwriting, pottery, painting, etc became important expressions of Neolithic men. The age saw a lot of improvements to all the art forms. Statuettes were made as a part of fertility myth and the mother nature myth connected with agriculture and rain and animal figures received less attention. Paintings were now a purely decorative for example, the homes in cattle Huyag. Pottery replaced wood and stone and used as utensils and got very decorated. Neolithic art was characterized by the following. It was st still utility based and served functional purpose. There were more images of human than animals and the humans were more realistic looking. It began to be used for ornamentation. Settled life enabled the developments of pottery and permanent architecture, spurring painters to shift their attention away from caves to the surfaces of pottery and the walls of buildings which were often plastered, thus providing an excellent painting surface. Likewise, sculptors turned their attention to sculpted pottery and architectural sculpture. The Port Revolution provided a new medium of extraordinary potential for shaping and decorating durable objects by firing clay. It is possible that this technology must have evolved over time.
The port here is one of the early explorations. Neolithic people made thousands of miniature figures of humans also, like this image. Let us look at some more pottery examples. Let us now discuss the weapons. During the Neolithic period, large axes were made from flint nodules by chipping a rough shape, a so-called rough out. Such products were traded across a wide area. The rough outs were then polished to give the surface a fine finish to create an X head. Polishing not only increased the final strength of the products, but also meant that the head could penetrate wood more easily. Such X heads were needed in large numbers for forest clearance and the establishment of settlements and farm steeds a characteristic of Neolithic period. This arrowhead was a common type in Neolithic period, circa 7000 to 4500 BC, when the habitation of the Nile Valley itself was underway. These projectile points were most often made from church often called flint, which was found in the form of cobbles lying on the high desert's surface. Neolithic age is also bronze age. The Neolithic age coincides with the bronze age. Already in history, metal has been put to various uses in Central and Southern Europe and in Asian region, copper, gold and tin had been mined, worked and traded even earlier, smelted and cast copper beads and ornaments dated to 4000 BC have been discovered in Poland. Metals were first used for ornamentation through the use of gold. Through time and technological advances, bronze and alloy or mixture of tin and copper is stronger, harder substance with a wide variety of uses. Bronze was used for weapons such as daggers and short swords and changed the people of Europe in fundamental ways. Power bases shifted within communities as the resources needed to make bronze were not widely available to all. Trade and intergroup contracts across the continent and into the Near East increased, and bronze objects circulated as prized goods. The Indus Valley Civilization was the earliest urban state labor society in South Asia. Its settlements have been found in the alluvial plains of the Indus River and the tributaries, as well as long now dry bed of Saraswati Gagar Hakranara River system has, has that flowed east of Indus. The origin of the Indus 
civilization can be traced to the to the early Neolithic settlements such as Mehargarh, located along the borders of the major alluvial plain of the Indus River. And subsequent Chalcolithic cultures that emerged at sites like Harappa along the Indus and Gagar Hakra river systems. Later Neolithic settlements demonstrates the intensive use of microlithic blades, sickles, grinding stones and sedentary. Villages dependent on barely wheat, amber icon, sheep, goat and cattle with accompanying hunting of gazelles and deer. A sophisticated and technologically advanced urban culture is evident in the Indus Valley civilization, making them the first urban centers in the region. However, it is imperative to note that the first seeds of civilization were led in the Neolithic age and therefore finds rudimentary mention in this chapter.